Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the Dome for our contest between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Boise State Broncos. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Broncos. The Broncos seem to have an advantage here. Do you agree with that, Kirk Herbstreit? Boise State looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and a guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full, because I think they're a little overmatched. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. The Broncos. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off. Scott fields it at the nine. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. This is a good quarterback on the field right now. How do you think he'll fare today, guys? He's good, Brad, but he better look out for this safety. Lurking in the defensive secondary today. Yeah, Coach, you couldn't paint a better picture of a ball-hawking safety. I'm predicting at least one interception today from this guy. Nice prediction. We'll find out if you're right. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Johnson lines up as a single back. There's a play fake. Rifles this one out to the left. Nelson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. So line up at the 25. Second and 10. Boise State goes with the ace set here. He throws. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And the blitz works that time. And let me say this. Now pay attention. This is exactly why you want to put the pressure on a quarterback. That time it was an incomplete pass, and the next time it may be an interception. Boise State lines up in a shotgun set, surveys the field. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against a zone. You think a guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up, just like that. Boise State is looking to go up by three. It's up. And it splits the upright. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It's second down at about three yards. All on their own 40. They'll give it off here, and he tackles him hard at the 41. Gain of a yard by the fullback. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. They line up in the jumbo set. Moore off the fake. Let's it go. He's got his tight end. He snared the ball and got one foot down, so count it. You betcha. He reached his big hands out there, and the ball just kind of stuck on him. He's a talented young football player. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. Moore will hand it off. Hawkins brings him down at the 44. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second down and seven. This is the eighth play of this drive. Moore with the give. Brought down at the 38-yard line. About six yards on the play. Boise State just took their first time out. They'll line it up again on third down. Jones brings him down for a loss. Boise State will have one timeout remaining. They'll line it up 
for a very long field goal attempt. This one 57 yards away. He gets it up and it's long enough. And it's through the upright. He hit that one from way out there. Oh man, that was a beautiful kick. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles and the Cardinal of Stanford. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here comes the Cardinal. The Cardinal looked like the better team on paper, but what do you think of this matchup here, Kirk? Stanford should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. The Stanford Cardinals. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Lofton fields it at the 19. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy is able to shake it off and get back into the game. This secondary has been waiting all week long to go up against this very skilled quarterback. How do you think they'll match up today? This kid is a great player, and I think as long as he doesn't try to force things too much, he's going to have a great game. This defense is going to have to show all kinds of looks today. If they don't keep this quarterback off balance, this game could be over at halftime. Second down and six. Stanford lines up in a shotgun set, hands it off. McCollum tackles him for a loss on the play. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play, but what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. He snags it, gets past the tackler, brought down at the 42-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Three wideouts here. Drops back to pass. Dumps it, and it's incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Stanford lines up with three receivers. Lofton takes the handoff. McCollum tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They're in the eye. He's looking to pass. Looks across the middle. Got it. He's all the way down to the 28. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. From the 28-yard line, first down. High formation here. Another run. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Number five gets three yards on the play. Second down, seven yards to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number five, the lone back. 
And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Number five gets about four yards on the play. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Stanford will line up in a jumbo set here. Gives it off. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The holder's on the 26. This will be about a 36-yarder. It's up. And it's through the uprights. Second it's second down and two to go. On the 38 -yard line. Number four is back in the gun, looking to throw. The defender had it and then dropped it. You gotta be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Third, third down. Number four comes to the line with three wide, and he stopped behind the line. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what time and practice will bring you, Kirk. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They come out with three wide receivers, feeling the pressure. They can't connect, incomplete. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. First and 10. The Cardinal line up in an eye formation. Here's the halfback. Taylor with the tackle at the 41. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine, ball on the 41-yard line. Here's the give. Taylor brings him down at the 44-yard line. Number five gets three yards on the play. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Stanford comes out of the shotgun, moves up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. That's incomplete. So since the quarterback and receiver couldn't hook up, we're going to have a fourth down. The Cardinal line up to punt. Wyatt is back to receive. He gets it off. Wyatt fields it at the 13. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? A field goal is out of the question here. This offense needs to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, this is four down football, and there is not much time left in the game, so this will be most likely their last chance to score. The Golden Eagle come out in the shotgun. Number four throws. It's complete, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 21. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding. On the offense, 10-yard penalty, still first down. First, first and long. long. Ball on the 10-yard line. Yeah. Southern miss. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He's going right, and he's tackled in the open field. That's a 10-yard gain. from their own 20-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Number four lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He heaves it deep. Incomplete pass. Wow. You talk about missing an open man. The defense got real lucky there. Yeah, they did. Someone either blew an assignment or got beat because that guy was wide open. Third and 10. Ball on their own 20. Southern Miss comes out of the shotgun. He steps up. He looks. Let's it fly. Got him. He's all the way down to the 49-yard line. The Golden Eagles are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining.
First down, 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. The Golden Eagle come out showing three wide. Stepping up, surveys the field. And this one falls incomplete. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch, they'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. The Golden Eagle set up in the gun. Back to pass. Rolls to the right. Throws down the middle. Into traffic, and it's picked off. With the spin, broke away from one. Wyatt with the tackle at the 50-yard line. That turnover will... Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium Poncho sales are at a peak with all this rain for our contest tonight between the Baylor Bears and the Wisconsin Badgers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Badgers. The Bears really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Wisconsin has one of the best linebackers in the nation, and he can do it all. Whether it's stuffing the run or playing the pass in coverage, he'll be all over the place today and lead his team to victory, Coach. You're absolutely right. Wisconsin Badgers. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Coleman takes it to 14. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This team really relies heavily on the play of their quarterback. So how do you think he'll do today? I think his play is going to stem from the performance of his offensive line. This defense will be bringing pressure all day. And if they can get to him often, he'll have a hard time getting into rhythm, Coach. Not so fast, Kirk. This kid is more poised than any quarterback you'll find in college football. He isn't afraid to stay in the pocket and throw the football downfield. I think he'll have a good game, even though he'll be under relentless pressure all day. It's first down. Baylor lines up in a shotgun set. He's hit and got away. Snyder tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. It's second down and a long ways to go. Baylor lines up with three receivers. Griffin back to pass. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. That'll make it third down. Third down. Going with the shotgun here. Griffin drops to throw. He throws left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Gordon was the intended target, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Baylor lining up the punt. Rust is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Number 23 fields it at the 41. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll start this drive at the 46. Wilson back to throw. He throws. Catches it. They bring him down in the backfield. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. They line up at the 41. Second and 15. Ace backfield. Play on the give. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Play gets three yards on the play. Third 
Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Play is the deep back as they line up in the eye with the throw. And this one falls incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the 45. The Bear come out in the shotgun. Griffin with the give. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. The Bear set up in the gun. Looking to throw. It's complete. They can pretty much watch the clock tick away after that first down, Kirk. Yep, I think they pretty much can wrap things up now. Let me tell you, though, both teams battled pretty hard today. This was a fun one to watch, Ball Coach. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Handoff up the middle. People brings him down at the 37-yard line. 